My name is Holly Peck. I am a web developer, the Microsoft Data Science Scholarship winner, and the director and founder of Women Who Code Vancouver. I first got into coding by taking a fundamentals class outside of work. We learned the basics of JavaScript, HTML, CSS, Ruby, how to work with data and databases. And during that time, I fell in love with coding. I eventually applied to Flatiron School in New York. Now, Flatiron School is an incredible institution. I happened across this group called Women Who Code. Now, Women Who Code seemed like an amazing, amazing group of females and males and, you know, LGBT folks uh, just collectively oriented towards empowering women in technology careers. I'm actually going to be reaching out to my high school because this is where it starts. It should start in elementary school. Um, unfortunately, you know, with gendered toys and gendered marketing, you know, for children, females are like encouraged to play with Barbies and, you know, go into communicative sciences and men are encouraged to play with Lego and to be builders and to be makers. And that needs to fucking die. Sorry, you can cut that out. That needs to go away. <laughs> that needs to end yesterday. Women are builders. Women want participation in society and that means building the tools that govern it. I say that all the time because it's true. You know, these tools are running society. We need every kind of person, every kind of mind, every kind of background building the products. When people don't occupy these roles, when you don't see these role models existing as a woman, you don't think that it, that's, that's possible for you. Something like this did not exist in Vancouver. I recruited, you know, a couple of women and then we applied to the global headquarters in San Francisco. We sent in a very strong application being like, we want to launch a chapter here. Eventually I heard back and Women Who Code was selected as one of 16 cities for global launch in 2017. Traditionally, you know, tech has been a very male-dominated industry. That's why Women Who Code is so, is so important because, you know, groups like this actually help pave the way for females to enter tech careers. Tech is never going to go away. Tech is not one job, it's every job nowadays. Uh, it's fashion, it's film, it's edit, you know, it's editing, it's any time you use software, you are programming. I just wanted to create a group that was a forum for women and men to connect with people who they wouldn't have a chance to meet in, in daily life. And I think that that kind of really is my philosophy. I've always been a performer and I wouldn't be able to, you know, survive without some kind of artistic and creative expression, whether it through my, my synth pop band or, you know, Women Who Code is one and the same thing. You know, performing is about inspiring people. It's about turning people on. It's about getting people off and getting people excited. And I think that's the same thing.